Okay, this one says Genesis 101. And I'm going to talk about Regenesis 101. Regenesis, if you want more information, Magenta Pixie on YouTube, and apparently she has books and things. Um, Regenesis and um, Discombobulation, I don't know. Those are like different things, but uh, the way it goes down, for people who have not raised their consciousness on the scale of human consciousness to 540 or higher, you're going to be, you know, remember in the Men in Black, they flashed the people and they had memory wipes? Well, it's going to be a much, much bigger flash than that. Beyond the mind wipe of, you know, whatever happened in the past hour or day, I'm going to have to wipe your entire lifetime. Everything you did, all your memories of whatever you did, and everybody else you interacted with. I'm going to have to wipe all your minds. Because your consciousness are full of garbage. Will it hurt? No. And then what? Well, I don't know. You'll be all like, you know, in the old days, if your computer was just never seemed to be right, you'd send it to the shop and you'd say, what do you call that? You'd be looking over the counter at the geek over there. The geek's over there. You go, what do you call that thing you do? What do you do, that thing, when, you know, the computer is just like chunking and churning and, you know, I've run every app cleaner and everything and it won't come clean. What do you do? And then the technician says, I do a low-level format on your hard drive and then there ain't nothing there. And then I put fresh windows on it. And, you know, if you give me your CDs of your software and the install codes, then I'll install all that stuff for you. Now, and then you'll say, but before I do that, is there anything on here that you want? Because you have to get it off your hard drive and onto some other medium. A zip drive is the best way to get anything that you really need off this computer and on a safe place. And then we redo your hard drive and then we use the zip drive and put all the stuff that was your important files back onto your newly redone computer and you're good as gold and it's going to run as good as I can get it. Want to do that or not? I was going to say, thank you. You know exactly what I needed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Why do I give you a fuck off? Because you're all going to say fuck off to me. You're all going to say fuck off, Bob. In my history, in my personality, my memories, that's all me. It's not at 540. It's not love. A Course in Miracles says, only love is real. You have to hit 500 on the scale of human consciousness to start at love. And 540, unconditional love is where you need to be. Minimum standard. So whatever your personalities and memories are, if they're not at 540, they're not love. And if they're not love, they're not real. And they're going to be erased. Because the galactic standard is 540. What about your story about how you got to 540? What about my memories? Because I'm, well, this is just the case of, you know, whatever it is, it is. Because if you're at 540 or higher, you continue the way you are. You don't lose your memories or personality. You become a divine personality. But if you didn't make the grade, then you're going to be formatted. Low-level format. You ain't going to be nothing. And as far as you putting on the zip drive, everything, I'm sorry. Well, that was in those days, modern days. Like, you know, I can't let you have anything to do with this lifetime because this lifetime you were demonic. If you're at 499, I'm sorry, I'm classifying you as demonic. Sorry, that's the way it is. So, you know, what do you need to do to prepare? I don't know. A last minute, um, Hail Mary uh, football throw. It's your last chance. A Hail Mary is the only chance you have to win the game. So throw a Hail Mary, babies. A Hail Mary. What are you going to do as a Hail Mary to uh, prepare yourself for heaven, to make yourself fit for heaven, to live with thee there, is what the hymn said in church. And that's what you're facing. How are you going to make yourself fit for the heavenly realm at 540 or higher?
You have to let go of all your egoic traits. And you've had, I don't know, how old are you? You've had a long time. Since the time you were, I don't know, let's go 12 years old. 10 years, 10 to 12 years old is when you should have been first taken to church. And your spiritual you should have started developing, starting to think about bigger and better things like, who is this Jesus guy? They built this enormous architecture. This is the most beautiful building in my city. And it's a church dedicated to Jesus. It's like, well, you know, all the other dumpy things. I go to the mall, there's a bunch of dumpy stuff. And dumpy. look at this church. Somebody did handcrafted woodwork. Not just a little bit. Like the whole church was made by hand by like fine woodworkers. It's like this must have been some kind of labor of love. Why did they do that? I go to the Walmart, it's a big box dump. It's dirty, it's stinky. And here's this church. And oh my God, they turned the organ on? Oh my God. You should see that organ at Christmas time when they, you know, pull out all the stoppers. Holy moly, does it ever get loud and rolling? Or oh my God, anything lift your spirits? Make you feel like Christmas is, you know, you're going to have a real church organ at Christmas time. Anyways... So anyways, Magenta Pixie said, for those people who decided that they, um, you know, didn't want to go to Fifth Dimensional Earth, well, then they're going to have to do whatever she calls it. I don't know. She's got uh, some choices. One of them is uh, Regenesis, and I'm not sure what that means. Great Central Sun, or they, you know, format your hard drive, and, you know. Well, it's just a better way to go. Because for devils, you know... I can't put you in the lake of fire. I know I've promised a thousand times to put you in the lake of fire, but, you know, I can't do that. I know you've been deviling it and deviling it, and you really do deserve to go there. We're going to have to scorch your tails. Hanuman will not let you go from this lifetime without having a soul lesson. And the soul lesson is going to be every one of you people are going to be brought to the edge of the lake of fire. And first thing that's going to happen is Jesus himself is going to walk across the lake of fire to show you that you can walk on water and you can walk on fire. And in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, in the operetta version, there was an episode of Buffy where they all sang. Walk through the fire was one of the ones they did. So uh, everybody is going to walk through the lake of fire. I have no problem. I've done fire walking in the past with bare feet. I've walked through hot coals. No problem. You can ask me if I've ever walked. Yeah. Around Thunder Bay, Ontario. Mm. January, February, March. Sometimes April. Yeah, we all walk on the ice. And there was, yes, with water skis, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Anyways. Because... People who are not at 540 are going to get scorched tails. You have to have a soul lesson, and the soul lesson is, you know, there's going to be something. I don't know. When you've been bad, do you believe in corporal punishment or making the child take a time out? You don't punish your children. What do you do? You got a 15 year old son and he just punched you in the eye. You got a black eye. What are you going to do with that person? Anyways, whatever it is, it is. Anyways, you know, that's what it is. I have to moving along. Um, because a lot of this stuff was for you to ponder and contemplate. Contemplate, contemplate. Think of this shit when you contemplate whale. W-A-L-E featuring Rihanna. Listen to that song.
Anyways, um, there you have time to contemplate. What did you get? We're going to give you one more, a song by the English band Genesis. The song is called Abacab. That's how it goes. Abacab by Genesis. Listen to that one. The Cabal. And what David Wilcock calls, you know, the one percent, the cabal, Abacab. Other than the L, cabal as an anagram is Abacab. What does it mean? I don't know. I've listened to that song a couple times now. It's an old song from the eighties, and the lyrics don't make any much sense. But listen to that song. Anyways, so it's in the back of your head, refreshed, because you're going to start looking to see. What is that song, Abacab? I mean, it was on the radio, you know, the song, I don't know what it means. It's Phil Collins and Mike Rutherford, and who's the other guy? Tony Banks. Abacab, Cabal, the 1%. Last but not least... Doug Chapman was my um, geography teacher at Sir Winston Churchill High School in Thunder Bay many years ago. And he was a strange individual. He had a hobby farm. And on Fridays, he wore a leather vest he called Rachel. Rachel was made from cowhide. And Rachel had been his pet. And on Friday, when he was wearing Rachel, when the bell rang and the class was over and we were falling out, Chapman would yell out at us, love your parents and be kind to animals. I don't know. When one of your loved ones dies, do you want to, like, uh, turn their skin into a vest and then, you know, when I kick off, you can wear me? Mr. Chapman, you're a weird son of a bitch.